Shakespeare, baby. I got your messenger bird. You got something to show me. My newest play. Oh, music to my ears. Every time you write a play, ooh, all right, I love it. Let me hear it. Well, it's a tragedy. Oh, something new for Shakespeare. Goodbye, Enchanted Woods. Hello, human experience. I love it. Tell me some more. It's about a couple. Mm. Romeo and Juliet. Hot, steamy love. Love it, love it. Love the sex. It's fair <laughs> Italy. Oh, four. People don't want to go to Italy after this, the furthest place on earth from England right now. Dynamo location. <laughs> Tell me more. Well, Juliet uh -huh. is a beautiful 13-year-old. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. And, uh, that would make Romeo how old? Uh, like 23? Oh, that's much older. <laughs> <laughs> And they love each other so much, they kill themselves. Oh! Um, all right, well, I'm gonna say it. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, but why don't we make Juliet a little older, you know? The old age are up. So you don't support my art? Oh, no, 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 all I do is support your art. Come on, remember when you were going through that historical phase? Ah, uh, who supported you? You. Yeah, when you stole all those plays, who covered it up? You. <laughs> who killed Christopher Marlowe in a bar for you? You. You're fucking right. I need you in my corner on this one. Ah, I, I don't know. I don't, I, yeah, yeah, always, baby, always. Good. Uh -huh. I want Juliet to be played by a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. <laughs> You would like a little boy playing a 13-year-old girl to fall in love with a grown man on stage and then kill himself. Yes. All right, I'm gonna say it. I don't think the optics are very good on this. <laughs> this is art. It's not about optics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying I don't know who's gonna want to see this. How can I sell the show? Someday, every girl in high school will read this play. <laughs> what is a high school? 